Notifications are an excellent way to boost the engagement and get your users to go back to your app. Today, we will continue working on the quiz app and I will show you how to use AWS Amplify and Firebase together to send a push notification for Android platform. I started configuring the Amplify notification by running the command Amplify Add Analytics. I selected Amazon Pinpoint as an analytics provider. The analytics category uses Amazon Cognito Identity Pools to identify users in the app. This allows you to receive data from authenticated and unauthenticated users. I run the Amplify push command to create the resources in the cloud. The Amplify CLI will update the Amplify folder to add the analytics configurations. Next, I use the Firebase console to add a project for the app. I already had a Google Cloud project when I added the Google sign-in feature. I selected it and clicked continue and continue again and again. I selected the Google Analytics account and clicked add Firebase. When the project got created, I clicked continue to get to the project dashboard. On the project dashboard, you can find the instructions to add Firebase to the Flutter app. We need to install the Firebase CLI and SDK. To install the CLI, I run the command npm install Firebase tools. Next, I run the command Firebase login to authenticate the CLI to my Firebase account. Next, I followed the instructions on Firebase dashboard to install and run the Flutter Fire CLI. I started with the command pop global activate Flutter Fire CLI. Then I used the command Flutter Fire configure to register the app with Firebase. The command added a Firebase options Dart file to the lib folder on my Flutter app. I ran the command flutter pop add firebase core and flutter pop add firebase messaging to add the firebase packages to the app. I updated the pub spec YAML file to add the Amplify Analytics pinpoint package. I also added flutter local notifications and path provider packages that I will use to implement the notification feature. On the app pinpoint dashboard, I navigated to settings, push notification, and clicked the edit button. I enabled Firebase cloud messaging. 
To get the API key, I opened the app Firebase dashboard. I opened the project settings and went to the cloud messaging section. I need to enable the legacy cloud messaging API. The API will be managed in Google Cloud Console. In the console, I clicked the enable button. Once the messaging got enabled, I went back to Firebase and refreshed the dashboard. Now I can find the server key. The token will be the API key that I need to use in Benpoint. I submitted the key on Benpoint dashboard and clicked save. The configuration is now complete. Once we finish the implementation, we will use the test messaging on Benpoint to test the notification using a device token. Inside the Features folder, I created the Notifications folder, and inside it, I created the folders Controllers and Data. I created the Dart file Pinpoint Notification inside the Data folder to create the Data model. The Data model will use Freezed, and it will capture the title, body, image URL, and image icon URL of the notification. It will also include a method to create the model from a map. To run the code generator, I executed the build runner command. I created the notifications controller Dart file inside the controllers folder. Here the app will request the permissions and set up the notification options like the alert, badge, and sound. I will also get the device token which I will use for testing. The controller will include a message handler function where it will map the notification to the pinpoint notification model. I also initialized the Flutter notification plugin by setting up the Android settings to use the launcher icon as a notification icon. Additionally, I created an Android notification channel and set the importance to high. I then checked if the notification include an image and created a big picture style information to display it. And if the notification include a URL for an icon, then I download it and use it as a large icon property for the notification details. The app will use the URL of the image and icon to download the file into the application directory folder. I updated the main Dart file to import the Amplify Analytics, Firebase Core, Firebase Messaging, and the Notification Controllers. I changed the configure amplify function to add the plugin of the amplify analytics. Then I created a variable for the notification controller. I created a callback to handle the messages when the app in the background. This will send the notification to the message handler on the notification controller. I created a function to configure Firebase. Here, I initialize the Firebase app, initialize the notification controller, and set the callback for the background message. I will call this function in the main method. The code is now complete. Let's run the app and test a few notifications. I will use the test messaging on Benpoint to test a notification using the device token. First, I will test when the app in the foreground. I will move the app to the background and test again.
Finally, I will quit the app and test the notification again. This time, I will add an image to the notification. I can see the badge and I can see the notification with the image.